What's up, Mafia? It's your girl, Mimi, and I'm back with another video for you guys. And today, I'm going to show you guys how I went from this to this. So stay tuned and watch for my tips and tricks. And I'm going to tell you guys everything that I did from A to Z, and you don't want to miss out on this video. start with a video like a breakdown of me what I was experiencing why I decided to do this um, and then just everything that happened with me so I think it was like in August so my normal body when I was younger before I went to college I was petite but I still had like a curvy shape but I was petite like way smaller than I am now and then I went to college, um, didn't really gain much weight, but just August 2019. August 2019 was when I had enough of my PMS because um, I have really bad PMS cycles. Um, I was going through horrible cramps, heavy, um, heavy cycles. And so my doctor then prescribed me. Hormones, we did the test for fibroids, everything like that. But they placed me on hormones to see if that would help my PMS at first. And those hormones obviously are birth control. So the birth control that I got placed on was Nexplanon. And for everybody, everybody's body is different, you guys, okay? I can't tell you that this diet will work for you or what I did will work for you. But when I first got on Next One On, everybody was like, you're going to gain weight, you're going to gain this, this is going to happen, this is going to happen. But I'm like, none of that's going to happen to me, right? <laughs> I'm thinking I'm invincible. So I'm thinking I'm invincible, and a couple months later, I'm gaining weight. Like, when I say weight, y'all, I mean crazy weight. The last time I had weighed myself, I think I was like 150. Um, yeah, and that was like the heaviest I had been my whole life, and then... I just showed you guys where I'm at now. So I gained serious weight, but also because I wasn't really like weighing myself to see if it was even making me gain weight, so I caught it really late. But anyways, yeah, so this is the reason why I decided to try the diet. Um, so far, I've tried the the tea or the water where you put apple cider vinegar, lemon, cinnamon, all of that stuff in there. Um, that didn't really work. But also, I wasn't, I didn't change my diet until just now, so it might work for you guys. Anyways, yeah, so I'm going to stop talking. That's why I started the diet. I want you guys to know everything about me. I'm a naturally petite person. I just started gaining weight because of my birth control. Um, so, yeah, okay. First, you guys, listen to me closely. First, the first thing I did um, that's kind of like an easy change is I started drinking green tea. I started drinking green tea in the morning and at night. Now... I also noticed that I was really bloated and I just felt like heavy all the time and my stomach just felt really bloated and my digestive system was really messed up. Usually I wake up and everything's okay, but I started waking up bloated even like when I didn't eat. But when I started drinking my green tea in the morning and at night, I noticed that it also helped my digestive system so I'm not, I'm not bloated as much and um, it helps to really push everything out of your system. And just give you a nice detox in the morning when you wake up and then at night before you go to sleep. So when I drink the green tea, you guys, it doesn't matter which green tea. The brand that I use is Pure Leaf, but um, I just ran out of that and I don't know where to find it. So I'm just going to go get some regular green tea. But the brand that I use is Pure Leaf. I'll put a picture of it right here if you guys want to go get it. But um, any green tea will work. When I make the green tea in the morning, I make green tea with hot water, the tea pack, and that's it. I don't add any honey, no sugar, no apple cider vinegar, lemon tea, nothing. I don't add any of that. I just do the green tea and the water and that is it. Um, I did try the apple cider vinegar, cinnamon, honey, all that. But um, I don't know, it just, it didn't work for me. It didn't really work for my body. I guess the fermented apple cider vinegar, I don't know, it doesn't really work for me. And I just don't really feel as light after but when I drink the green tea it helps to make me feel not bloated and then it pushes everything down and I feel lighter which is what I wanted 
Um, so yeah, I don't do, I don't add anything else. I just do the green tea, the water, no honey, no none of that. Y'all, yes, it's not going to taste good. It's not going to taste sweet. But after a while, you get used to it. The second thing I did was I changed my diet. I became pescatarian. And so what that means is I ate all seafood based uh, meats. So I ate fish, I ate shrimp, um, scallops, whatever, lobsters, whatever you guys like that's um, seafood. That's what I ate um, as, the pes as a pescatarian. I mainly really only ate salmon and shrimp, but again, you can add, add tuna. Um, filet of sole, whatever fish you like or whatever um, seafood you like. I cut all, I cut out chicken, I cut out poultry, I cut off red meats for sure. Red meats were a no-go. No red meats. If you're, if you're not ready to become a pescatarian, you can eat chicken. Um, I say ground turkey, it's probably okay, it's really lean. But, um, yeah, I just cut out all of that just because I don't really normally eat chicken like that anyways. So, becoming a pescatarian wasn't really that bad. I can break down, I'm gonna break down how my day, what I ate like in a day, a typical day. Um, if you guys want a video showing you guys like how I prepared it because I also noticed that the more sodium you add, the more weight that your body puts on and then it pulls down to the lower part of your body. So I was gaining weight, like you could tell in my ankles, my ankles were getting bigger, my actual leg was getting bigger and obviously my thigh was getting bigger. Um, I didn't have a problem with like being thick in the thighs, you know, your girl like, <laughs> I wanted to be thick boo okay but um I did get thick but I was like oh no we need to turn this down so I didn't like that it was going to my ankles and my legs so um I started trying to make it taste good but not put as much sodium while I'm cooking so if you guys want a separate video that could be a separate video um typically what I eat in a day and then I'll show you guys how I make everything and then like how big I make my portions so yeah, so I, was, I became pescatarian. I wasn't eating shrimp pastas, uh, shrimp alfredo. I wasn't eating any of that. So I became a pescatarian, but I also had um, low carb, high protein diet. So what that means is I would eat like salmon with a side of veggies and then um, some water as my meal. Obviously I wasn't drinking juice. I rarely drink juice. No, I didn't even drink juice. I didn't drink juice until the last day of my two week thing um, and that was apple juice but I did not drink juice those two weeks. I drank water and I was strict on my water um, and I made sure that I got in my 64 ounces of water a day at least minimum. So yeah I became a pescatarian and then I still did low carb high protein. Um, I'm trying to think did I even cheat? I guess yeah I guess I did kind of have some carbs. So. For the most part, I had my meat, my veggies, um, and then here and there, y'all, I am a sweets, like I love sweets. So when I was scrolling down Instagram one day and I saw an ad say that female keto diets are not the same as males and that females do need sweets, I would have like those little Halloween, those little Halloween or Easter candies, the fun size ones, and I'd eat like, probably, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. <laughs> I eat like two of those in a day um, only two of those little small ones in a day and then I try to like spread them out because I'm like oh I want some little sweet here but then I'm gonna want some little sweet like you know before my dinner or after my dinner as my dessert so I ate two of those fun size things uh, but I really did not have carbs at all I didn't I wasn't eating breads pastas I wasn't eating any of that um, what else? Okay, so lastly, thirdly, this can help you if you have a problem like overeating. So, I have a problem. My parents are from the South. They're from New Orleans. So, every time we go down there, like the thing to do is to eat. So, when I was eating, I would eat and I would know that I'm full, but I would keep eating. And so, after a while, when I kept doing that, it would leave my mind that I'm full and so I would just be eating and then after I'm like oh my stomach hurt which makes you feel bloated don't do that please don't follow my example do not do that so during this diet that's what I tried to work on so I would um I added protein shakes before um I used premier protein and then I also like had some um like just regular protein powder that I had and then I mixed with some almond milk so before 
I would either do it, I only drink one protein shake a day, I would either do it before my lunch or before my dinner. And so um, either I would do one scoop of the uh, protein powder with eight ounces of almond milk or I just drink a bottle of the Premier Protein. So I drink that before my meal and I noticed that once I started eating, I would be full probably almost instantly. So I drink that probably like 30 minutes before I eat and then when I start eating, I'm like, I'm not even hungry. So that helped me to cut down on my calories in turn, but I'm still getting my calories on my protein shake and then I'm still getting the proteins that I needed throughout the day. Um, I think that's really all I did. I'm a liar. I also stopped eating at 8 o'clock and didn't eat any more late night snacks. You guys, I didn't work out the first week when I lost um, 5 pounds, or I guess it was 6 pounds. When I lost 6 pounds, I did not work out, and then the second week I didn't work out. I walked Culver City stairs one time, but yeah, so I did not work out during those two weeks, and just by changing my diet, adding the protein shakes, and then drinking my green tea in the morning that night, that helped me to lose 10 pounds. So imagine if you guys took on the diet that I did, and then you also worked out hopefully you guys can find the motivation to work out i really just couldn't um i was just trying to live my life but um yeah so if you guys want me to do the video sorry if you guys want me to do a video showing you guys what i typically eat in the day how i season my food how big my portions are um then just comment below and then i'll for sure get that video to you guys yeah, so if you like this video if you think this video will help you give it a thumbs up if you guys are going to try this diet and try out what i did comment down below um your results after a week well after a week and then after two weeks and let me know if this helped you guys um if it was a flop if it didn't help you guys but y'all try to stay on yourself do not cheat and this is like my 85th diet in my life, y'all. And this is the first diet that I actually saw through the entire two weeks. So, um, yeah, you guys saw my results. I explained everything to you guys. And that's all we could do. So I hope y'all get the same results as me. I hope this helps you, whoever's watching this. Anyways, thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel. And make sure to comment down your results if you tried this diet and it actually helped you guys. And if it didn't help, you can comment too. <laughs> But, um, yeah, I hope you guys like this video and stay tuned for more. Bye, Mafia.